President Trump boasted at a fundraising dinner last night that he made up information in a meeting with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Trump is so bad at lying, he lets the public immediately know he lied. <laughs> if Trump ever had to take a lie detector test, he'd probably just draw the crazy lines himself. <laughs> I did not collude with Russia. Since he announced his candidacy, Donald Trump has been fodder for late-night hosts. And throughout his presidency, they found new material in his policy and speeches and all those tweets. Riffing off Trump has become a ratings bonanza, and some are hitting the president pretty hard, infusing their satire with objection and analysis. But is there comedy in today's politics? Joining me now from Santa Monica, California, Norm McDonald. Now, full disclosure, we've shared many off-camera laughs. Uh, he's my brother-in-law. So, hello, Norm. Welcome to Question Period. Oh, it's great to uh, be here, Joyce. And uh, it's kind of unreal that uh, you're uh, hosting Question Period. But because uh, I remember it as a child with Bruce Phillips. <laughs> so you know the show. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Uh, question period. W five. All, all those shows. When Bruce Phillips hosted Trudeau's Trudeau's father was prime minister, and today it's his son who's running the political show here. Do you think Justin Trudeau is funny? I don't follow it that closely, but you know, I don't think. No, I don't think he's funny. Not like his father was funny. You know, I, I don't think. Uh, from um, just my cursory knowledge uh, and watching of uh, Justin on. Uh, uh, my prime minister, I shouldn't call him Justin, of, uh, the, of uh, prime minister on uh, YouTube that he seems uh, not to have uh, uh, inherited his father's uh, flinty intellect. You met Donald Trump when he was on The Tonight Show with on, on, on Jimmy Fallon. Show. Now, now, tell us about that encounter you had with Donald Trump. Well, I met Donald Trump many, many times in New York City, just because when I was doing Saturday Night Live, he was a fixture in New York City, and uh, he'd come to a lot of the shows, and he was just a local eccentric, you know, that uh, people mostly loved in New York because he uh, fixed the rink uh, in Central Park when uh, the city couldn't. But, uh, no, when I was on Jimmy Fallon, he was, that's when he was, that's when Jimmy Fallon tussled his hair, and, uh, and got in trouble for it, and I was the other guest. So I was just out in the hallway, and I, I, I said, uh, Donald, can I have a picture? You can call him Donald then. I guess you can still call him Donald. We don't have to call him president, apparently. But uh, I said, can I get a picture with you? And he said, uh, yeah, absolutely, sure, Norm. And then uh, he walked down the hall and got in the elevator with his Secret Service guys. <laughs> so, uh, but he was just doing it as a joke. A lot of times, uh, the problem with uh, candidates that, uh, or political candidates that do comedy uh, is obviously uh, comedy doesn't translate well to the page sometimes, you know, uh, uh, sarcasm is lost obviously and uh, things like that. So, so uh, if someone says something that's meant uh, self-disparagingly or satirically, uh, and you want to take it out of context, you can. That happened a lot of, a lot of times with uh, Trump on the campaign trail. But, you know, he's being caricatured on Saturday Night Live, like quite mercilessly by, by Alec Baldwin. Like, is it funny to you? Is that funny? No. I, the only reason I don't find it funny, when I was there, uh, Daryl Hammond did uh, uh, Donald Trump, and that shows how far back Trump goes, because that was 20 years ago. But uh, uh, Daryl did him then. It was a softer Trump, you know. I, I think it was a Trump that was a lot closer to his real self. But if you do the problem, with, if you do an impression of someone, you have to uh, like that person, you know, because you're playing the person, and people like themselves. So uh, you can't play someone and have contempt for them at the same time. You know, it, it doesn't work as an impression. So I don't like. Uh, I don't like his impression, uh, and I have no political affiliation. I just mean from a comedy, um, from a comedy level. Where is the funny in Donald Trump? Because he does think he's funny, right? Yes, but other people think he's funny too. I, I attended one of his uh, uh, just to see, you know, because 
because I wanted to see it for myself, uh, his performances in front of these grand halls. And uh, he's enormously funny and entertaining. And uh, I don't know that there, there's normally uh, uh, with politicians, um, you know, it takes, uh, you need to be hu humble, you know, to be really funny. And I think that's why Ronald Reagan was the funniest president that I ever saw, because he always had this humility to him. I was kind of lost with uh, President Obama because people told me he was funny, but to me he was too uh, self-aware. And of course Hillary couldn't have been more strident, you know. And uh, I think w people don't vote on, on issues as much as they just vote on who they'd, uh, like this, that old saw about who you'd rather have a beer with, you know. And nobody wanted to have a beer with Hillary Clinton, you know. You say that he has to be, that one person has to be <laughs> humble to be funny, but I don't think Donald Trump is very humble, is he? No, there's no humility to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is more funny in the way that uh, a, a WWE wrestler is, you know. So he has a different kind of funny, which is a, uh, 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 sort of a self-deluded, uh, I don't know if it's self-delusion though, I don't know if it's all, I think it's just all an act. I don't think really that, that Trump ever wanted to be president. I think that he was always just playing to be president or whatever that hall he was playing in was, you know? And uh, I've seen this happen with comedians too, that you start thinking you're good because the people that come to see you all like you, you know? but. The reason they came to see you is because they like you. So uh, politicians and comedians both that make that mistake of thinking they're much better than they are because they're never uh, uh, they're never uh, criticized by the people that don't like them. That's why social media is so good because it you can see the people that that don't like you at all. I listened to to an interview you you gave Larry King and you said the ruin of Donald Trump um, will be his addiction to playing the halls, right? So he's, he's a great yeah. performer. He just wanted to be you like he wanted to be a stand-up comedian and he just accidentally became a president? My guess would be that his plan was to, to make a big splash, l lose, oh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do now, Joyce? Uh, just don't answer, okay, <laughs> if, you, if it's possible. No, I won't answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So sh sh should I start answering that question again? Sure. Yeah, I think uh, him becoming president surprised him. I think, uh, you know, it's, it's funny that uh, people don't remember, but back in the debates, uh, there was a big, big um, uh, issue with Donald Trump saying if he lost, it meant the election. God, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> I know, I doubt I did. Oh, one second. Hello? <laughs> yes. Oh, I gotta call you back. I'm on the TV, man. Yeah, I'm on the TV right now. Oh my God. Oh, but I'll call you right back. Sorry. About okay, that. I'm not. I'm not uh, gonna I ask you the question that. again. I feel that um, Trump. Personally, I feel that he he didn't think he was gonna become president. And interestingly, the thing that. Uh, people don't remember was that, but I remember, was that uh, during the debates uh, there was all this talk of Donald Trump saying um, if he loses it means the election is rigged and all the media were saying no no that's impossible you know take that back you cannot say that about the American Republic no election here could ever be rigged that's impossible and of course now they're saying the exact opposite but uh, I think it was Trump's idea at that point that he would say it was going to be rigged, thinking Hil he thought Hillary was going to win, I think. And then he would start a, uh, you know, a network or something like that where he could uh, speak and, uh, and be the, the loyal opposition uh, um, of his own, you know, something, something different than Fox. Let me ask you this. So your, your, your Bob Dole imitation was pretty famous. Uh, back in the day. So would you do Donald Trump today? Would you do a Donald Trump imitation? I, I, I try to not uh, do comedy about Donald Trump because uh, I think I had one joke about Donald Trump that I ever did uh, where I said um, 
that that uh, that people that Americans hated Hillary Clinton so much that they voted for someone they hated more than Hillary Clinton <laughs> to rub it in, and uh, that's the only uh, time I ever made a joke about uh, Trump. But I, I try to stay away from it because uh, it's just you know it's low hanging fruit and. Uh, and and also, you know, Trump oftentimes is doing self self parody, and uh, nothing looks dumber than if you parody self parody. You know, you really get get caught uh, uh, not understanding. So comedy in the time of Trump is it more difficult than it was when you were on Saturday Night Live? It's more difficult in, in the time of Trump for good comedians, and it's way easier for bad comedians, you know. You don't have a world view by just saying you don't like Trump, you know what I mean? That doesn't count. Like, uh, you, can't, uh, you can't just say, I hate Trump, and, and that makes you a good person. And uh, the Democrats just can't say, I hate Trump, and that means they have a position. You know, that's no position. Uh, so so for, uh, for idiots, it's an easier time because uh, you go well. That guy's uh, that guy's the idiot, not me. But uh, if you try to do smart comedy, it's better to stay away from uh, uh, stay away from Trump. You know. Norm Macdonald, thanks so much for being uh, with us today, for spending this time with us. It was great. Great to see you. <laughs> uh, I l great to see you. I love you, Joyce. <laughs> love you too. Bye bye. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I do watch a lot of parliamentary television. I come from Ottawa. It's pretty exciting. And I don't know. I go down, I watch Question Period, you know, and I think that's a good name for it, Question Period, because there's never any answers. You know, <laughs>